The Roth IRA is considered to be one of the top retirement accounts, and it's crucial for you to know everything about it. So welcome to your beginner's guide to understanding the Roth IRA. But before we get into the Roth IRA, my name is Casey McEwen, and if you wanna thrive financially, this channel is the place for you. So hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more future content. Now the Roth IRA is highly praised because the money you put into it grows tax-free. And when you withdraw it during retirement, it remains tax-free. Yes, 100% tax-free. Now this major benefit is so significant that the IRS sets annual limits on how much you can actually contribute, which is generally less than what you can contribute to other plans such as a 401k, a 403b, or a 457b. Here's what we'll cover today though, what a Roth IRA is, why it's the best, its downsides, and how to essentially get one. So what's a Roth IRA? Well, a Roth IRA is a retirement account that you can manage independently outside of work-related plans, like a 401k or 403b. You can essentially set it up online, similar to an online savings account, and once your account is open, you can transfer money from your bank account to your Roth IRA, either in small amounts over time or one lump sum. Now, after transferring your money, it's time to invest. I recommend keeping it simple with diversified investments like stock index funds, bond index funds, and international index funds. Also, you can have a Roth IRA in addition to any work-related retirement account. Now, the Roth IRA is often considered the best retirement account for several different reasons. First and foremost, tax, growth, wealth, and withdrawal. Meaning, one standout feature of the Roth IRA is the money you invest grows without being taxed every single year. And when you withdraw it during retirement, you don't have to pay any taxes on the gains. This essentially means all of the profit made from the investments, whether it be from the stock price increases, dividends, or interest, is yours to keep without paying a portion to the lovely government. This can lead to significant savings, especially if the investments have done very well over the years. Now, the limits on these are pretty low compared to other types of retirement accounts, such as a 401k, maybe a SEP IRA, but I can tell you, having paid the lovely IRS way too much money over the course of the last eight years since being self-employed, and hopefully, you know, the foreseeable future being unemployed myself, paying the IRS large chunks or even small chunks is not fun. So to be able to have a retirement account that you invest in, knowing that you're not gonna have to give a penny of it or any amount that you gain to the IRS is a wonderful feeling. Unlike other retirement accounts like the traditional IRA or 401k, the Roth IRA does not force you to start taking money out at a certain age. For other accounts, you must start withdrawing money at the age of 72, which can be a problem if you don't need the money yet or if withdrawing it could push you into a higher tax bracket. Now with a Roth IRA, you can leave the money in the account to continue to grow if you don't need it, which gives you more flexibility in planning your retirement finances. Which leads us into the next great feature of the Roth IRA. It offers a ton of flexibilities with contributions and withdrawals. For example, you can withdraw your contributions, but not your actual earnings, at any time without penalties or taxes. This feature is helpful if maybe suddenly you need money for an emergency, but just keep in mind, it's best to let the money continue to grow to benefit fully from your account's tax advantages. Now also, Roth IRAs are known for having lower fees compared to other retirement accounts. This is because you can shop around and actually choose where to open your Roth IRA, looking for places that offer low-cost investment options and minimal account fees. Over many years, even small differences in fees can make a huge difference in how much money you wind up getting at retirement. Now with the Roth IRA, you generally have access to a broader range of investment options compared to an employer-sponsored plan like a 401k. You can choose from individual stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and so much more. This freedom allows you to tailor your investments to your specific financial goals and risk tolerance. However, the Roth IRA is not a perfect retirement account. One downside is the contributions are not tax deductible. For example, if you wanna put $10,000 into a Roth IRA, you don't get a tax break that year, but your money grows tax-free. And you won't have to pay taxes on the withdrawals in retirement. Now, I personally also contribute to what is a SEP IRA. Now, that is a retirement account straight from my real estate business that contributes to my personal name on an annual business. Now, I definitely have a Roth IRA, but I also have a retirement account within my actual individualized own business, I own a real estate company, and my real estate business actually contributes income on an annual basis to me as a personal individual. Now the benefit there is my real estate business gets a pretty substantial tax write-off or benefit for the 
current being or current fiscal year. But the downside is when I decide to use that uh, maybe 30 years from now or pull it out during retirement, at that point is when I'm gonna be taxed on it. Another limitation is the income cap, which means high earners might not qualify to contribute directly, though there are kind of some workaway rounds, you know, such as the backdoor Roth IRA method, which is what I utilize. If you're choosing between a 401k and a Roth IRA and your employer offers a matching contribution to your 401k, prioritize that first for the free money. However, once you max that out or you match it, or if maybe there's no match at all, consider contributing to a Roth IRA. Now, as I close up this video, guys, if you don't personally have any type of retirement accounts, a Roth IRA is an easy way to get started, especially if you have a company, as I just mentioned, that doesn't match or contribute any type of income of yours to a 401k. Leave a comment down in the comment section below or reach out to me personally on my Instagram. I can get you connected with the right type of people or just point you in the right direction yourself to start a Roth IRA. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're maxing it out on an annual basis. Just start investing in your future because I'm telling you, your future self will thank you. And that's it for this week's video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help. And stay tuned for the next video.